يحطوهم الى ابائهم that those people call them to their fathers the original fathers in islam we have something called foster son if you have, if someone does have a family you take care of him however if he grows up and he get married to a woman then he divorces her after the happy period finishes you allow it to marry her because he's not your son and he has nothing to do with you you just took care of him so prophet muhammad وسلم, never married his adopted son the other thing that is a lie which is some scholars mentioned because they love this uh, hallucination as Ibn Kathir mentioned that Prophet saw her naked that is not the Prophet David that is a new book with Prophet David so Prophet Salaam never see her the fact is or in fact Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi himself he offered her to Zayd ibn Haritha if he loved her he wouldn't marry her in the first place why is he going to allow man to marry her first then he goes after any person loves a virgin woman you see what I'm saying except if there is a good uh, uh, benefit marrying someone who is not virgin. The point here is, are you going to take it back that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu married his adopted son when in the Quran there is no adoption? Says this, this guy is a hack scholar of Islam. He's, he's just the Dawah team down here. When we were talking in the video, if you watch the video, there's a guy here in the video called Abbas. A very Abbas is not Islamic scholar. Me. Abbas is not Islamic scholar. Me. Excuse Abbas is just leave him. Excuse me. Just show me what the Quran says. Go on. I'll let you speak. Yeah, as long as you deal with my points, because I have to go, remember? I'll speak. Go. Yeah. He's going over, it's his particular scholarship, right? If you go into the topic, who was Zayid? Zayd ibn Haritha. Who was it? I'm going to finish now. Yeah, Zayd ibn Haritha, before Islam, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, was, he took him as adopted son, okay? Dad, let me finish my point. Islam came and demolished this law. There is no adoption. Allah said, refer him to his father. Exactly. His son, is, his name is Zayd ibn Haritha. He's not in Muhammad. So now, are you telling us to follow the paganism culture or God's culture? Which one should we follow? Hamza, I love you. Uh, uh, Shamsi. Shamsi, I love you, Bray. But did you hear from his own words? He condemned himself. I didn't condemn myself. Yeah, yes, listen to what. Let me finish. He picks a fight with me and says, I said that he was his son. Then he realizes it's not son, I said adopted son. Then he starts dancing around and shuffling like Muhammad Ali. But then he doesn't realize that he killed himself by saying that Zaid was his adopted son. Let me finish. 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 Then he says that the adoption was abolished. Now, why was it abolished? It was abolished because Muhammad wanted to sleep with Zaid's wife, and that verse was put in so that he could have sex with Zaid's wife, his adopted son. No problem. That's where does he say that? Where does he say in the Quran? It's in the text, and you admit Where it. does he say? I have admitted you're lying again. No, you've admitted no, it. No, uh, no, no. Listen to what I said. Again, I'm not a Christian who believes prophets can sleep with a woman and do adultery. That's your belief. That's your text. I don't, no, 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 no. Before you are lying against my text. Where does it say my text? The reason that the law was abolished. First of all, that law was Islamic law. It was not Islamic law to begin with. Let's, let's it was. Uh, let me out. Okay. I'm asking you, was that law Islamic law or not? Let me answer it my way. I'm no, not, he's not going to do it my point. Then. No, I'm not, my, 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 my way, my way. Was it Islamic number law? Number one. Number one. Yeah. He admitted that Zaid was was he not once. Muhammad's adopted son. This is wait, 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 wait. That's, Before, that's no, no. Question, if you ask him a question, I'll answer it. You haven't asked him a question. You haven't asked him a question. Ask, ask him a question. No, I'm a, you answer that question. <laughs> but ask you first. Like yeah, Jesus. But I, I began it at the beginning and I made Anyway, to show you this man, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu you know this verse? This verse is clear cut is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this verse is a refutation against those who said Prophet Muhammad for the Quran. Why? Because within the verse, Allah said Prophet Muhammad. You will marry her when she gets divorced to, uh, uh, to, to Zayd ibn Haritha. However, Allah told him in the Quran that you are shy to do that. Why? Because in the Arab culture, if you have someone, you take care of him, you should not marry his wife. He's like your son. But Islam came to abolish that law because it's a paganism law. So if that was up to Prophet Muhammad to make it up, why Allah mentioned in the same verse, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had some shyness to do it. Because why? He was, he, was, he was afraid that the Arab people would go around accusing him of something which is free from. So John, uh, uh, what's his name, Mr. John? Jason. Jason. Yeah, just call me Jay Boy. 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 Jason. 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 Jason, look. In the Quran, doesn't say that at all, the, the reason. Rather, as you have mentioned, before Islam came, yes, Prophet Muhammad took him 
but Allah showed him that it's not from Islam. You are a prophet of God, that is from paganism, and it has nothing to do with you. And Zainab went to Jahsh, Zayd ibn Hajj divorced her. After a period, he got married to her. And you as a Christian, you should have no problem because your own God, your own prophet David, he stepped with a woman and he killed her husband. All right, have you finished now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're laughing, my. How dare you speak about Prophet Muhammad? Oh, we have your prophets on. killing people just to sleep with a woman. Muhammad, uh, go on. Take a chill, bro. Take a chill. Bro. The guy, the guy is doing eisegesis, not exegesis. When you look at a passage, you have to look at it in its historical context, and he's not looking at it in his historical context. I am. Look, he's here. Not, not, what he's doing is reading this view that Muhammad could not have been teaching paganism, and he's reading that back into the text. The text is clear. The text is, he saw Zayed's wife, and then his God said, do not hide it in your heart, it's going to be okay. Next thing we know, he admitted Zayed was his adopted son, but now there's no such thing as adoption, so now it's clear cut that he can sleep with this woman, no, married this woman. Let me finish. Let me Why are you talking about sleep? Let me just finish. Marry. Because he's having sex with a woman that's really part of his family. I just Who said that? That's in the Quran. Just, no, it's in the text. Who is it? Who shall send text? Let, let me just finish. Let me just finish. This argument about paganism that Muhammad. No, no, no. First of all, we made a claim. No, 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 show no. us who that's in the Quran's family. I'm not going to shout all. No, but Jason is lying. I'm not going to shout all. Show, show the text. Show the text. Who does it say? Prophet Muhammad. Marry his daughter yeah, sure. or oh, his son, his daughter, his wife. Go on. I'm not going to shout all this. No problem, just show us the text. The text that we read, he shot himself in the foot, if you remember. He acknowledged. Show the text. You claimed he married his family. We read Surah 6, uh, Surah 33, 37 to 38. What does it say? Let me finish. Go on. And he admitted that Zayed was his adopted son. He admitted that. So we read the text, knowing that he's the adopted son, and then he's lying against her. It's in the text. So we read. Does the he say adopted son? Show we me read the verse. Text. Where does the text say? You it? said he's the adopted. No, son. I never said he say. No, no. I made it clear to you no, before this. No, no, no. You are accusing me, and you're not dealing with the poor Jason. I clearly, I say to you before. No problem. I say to you, Jason. Clearly, I say to you before Islam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took his son as Zaid bin Harith as adopted son. But in Islam, there is no such a thing because in Islam, we're not like European slaves. You enslave someone, you name it after a slave master. You understand? So Allah is telling him, name them after their fathers. Zayd ibn Haritha. He's not your son, he's not your stepson. Somebody took care of So listen to this. Okay, listen to this. You said was, the reason was Salam married because he saw an elector. Where does it say that in the Quran? What's that? Sorry. You said, Jason, you have to pay attention to what you say. Yeah, because you're going you, on a lot. No, but you have to pay attention to your own statement. You said Prophet Muhammad saw her, he fell in love with her, he liked her, that's why he wanted to marry her. He didn't fall in love with her, he lusted after her. Okay, where does okay. it say in the Quran? That's in the text, where's the Quran? Where is the Quran? Show me.